Hey guys, how's it going? So, what we're going to be going over is basically, everybody knows after the new 1.3 uh, update or whatever, that the new Rivers of Blood katana or whatever is like overpowered, but if you haven't made it though already, like me, because you're still early, you got to make it through the capital, and uh, that could be quite difficult. So, in order to get through, you got to beat the Tree Sentinel, right here, as you see, I have died. I did beat him, I'm re I'm, I'm retarded and I uh, didn't get any uh, videos. The amount of times that I tried to sneak around that ledge right there for some reason and, and I just kept dying was countless. Uh, anyways, so you want to make yourself your way over, obviously from the side of Grace, way over there. Run. I just run along this edge, mountain goat it way out there, and cut over, you know, and then you can, when you die, you respawn right here, but you can spawn by the state stake of Baraka or whatever the hell it's called. But then from here, uh, what I did is he's going to be standing right in front of those steps, right? So you just come wide, come wide on him like you're going to the statue. Then you cut back through right here. Okay, and then you come in right here. And this, get off your horse. You want to get off your horse and be in this area. And this right here, okay, he can't hit you when you're behind this rock. Okay, if he's over on this side of it, like opposite of it for me if he comes over to right here for some reason just kind of you can you can oh sorry you can uh get right up in here and he won't hit you with the fireball or nothing and um also uh you want to just sit like right here and you just want to keep throwing these at him and he, his, it won't uh i it's the glint Glenstone Shard, the Great Glenstone Shard, and I just sat here and was doing that a couple times. And you just get low and low and low from right here. And whenever he shoots, if he shoots fireballs at you, they'll hit the rock. And when he goes to slam, this is where it gets tricky. Okay, listen up. When he get when he goes to slam, okay, every time I fell back into this corner, his slam hit me. Okay. The, his slam can reach you from right here and it'll knock you down and then it'll hit you with the follow up. So what you want to do is when he goes to slam, you want to just go back here. Right here. Can't hit you. Or he shouldn't hit you anyways. And also, when he uh, uses the lightning and the rage one comes down, where it's like the, like the minefield of him, that it won't hit you right here either. It'll stop on top of the rock. Okay? However, the, char the single shot charge one, you'll notice the difference because the shingle shot one, he holds his gun up and you can see the tip of the, or whatever, not gun, but tip of it up and it'll get red, it'll progressively get more red and then that's how you know he's about to uh, shoot at you and you just, you just roll like that right here. You just come down right here and as soon as you see it, like he's like armor recoil a little bit and it'll start to turn white almost. I don't know, I wish I had video, man. But that's when he's about to shoot you, and you just you just die right here. It'll miss you, and then depending on what his next move is, you know you want to, you want to stay here and, and keep dodging, or just stay here and wait for his slams to be over. But once he starts shooting fireballs at you again, come up right here. Oh God, I used to have my staff in my left hand. You want to come up right here and just start doing these at him. And obviously you can lock on to him, you know, and you'll hit him. But uh, yeah, that's pretty much it.